Have you ever wanted to get swing tips from a real world-class coach? Well, I got swing tips from Tiger Woods' actual golf coach. That's right, I had a phone call and have been chatting to one of Tiger's old coaches. I will tell you a little bit more about it. Here's some of his credentials. He's coached three world number ones, was the national coach of China, India, and Morocco. He's coached PGA Tour players, European Tour players, Corn Ferry players, LPGA Tour, NCAA champions, and his players have won every single major on the men's and the ladies tour. But yeah, I bet you haven't actually heard of him. His name is Peter Murphy. He worked with Tiger Woods around 2007, helped him on his game. Around the same time, he was working with a few other coaches as well. He is an incredibly experienced coach and he has been giving me swing tips on my actual game, which I'm going to be sharing with you. So what swing tips has Tiger Woods coach given to me. Well, first of all, let's take a look at my golf swing from this week. For those of you who don't know, here in the UK, golf courses just reopened for the first time this year. It was my first time getting back out onto the course uh, two weeks ago now, I think it's about two weeks. So the game was pretty rusty. The swing was actually looking okay, but there were definitely some shocking shots. So let's take a look at my golf swing and see you know first of all let me know what you guys think and you know i'd love to i'd love to know and hear your thoughts it was really interesting the tips peter gave me i definitely have never thought about them in well i definitely never would have thought to make these changes to my golf swing and it just shows when you have a world class coach with you working on your game it is absolutely incredible and i will read you exactly what he sent me to work on so let's first of all look at this iron swing and then we'll look at a driver swing and talk through some of the things peter told me to so let's just play it through once and see how it looks i'm actually relatively happy with how the swing is looking overall and i have hit some quite good shots considering I haven't, you know, hardly played golf this year, which has been really frustrating. So it's actually not looking too bad. Let's slowly parallel to the ground. I like this position. Club heads outside the hands. Good one piece takeaway. Not too much to say there. I'm trying to get a really wide takeaway and, you know, really keep the width in the golf swing. As we take it to the top, right elbow bends, it's club at the top pretty good top position. I'd like my right arm to be a little bit straighter, have a little bit more width at the top of the swing. And then as we start to play down, club does shallow out quite nicely if we pause it parallel to the ground. Again, pretty good position overall. I'd maybe like my right arm uh, to be a little bit more tucked into my side and have the arms a little bit more in front of me at this point, but pretty good as we play it to impact. Yeah, not too bad there. And as we play it through to the finish, not bad overall. Sets off on my intended start line. Let's take a look at my driver swing, and then I'm going to give you guys the information that I'm going to be working on from Tiger Woods' actual golf coach. So here I am set up with driver. Set up position overall, pretty good, pretty neutral, not too bad there. Pause it parallel to the ground. Good wide takeaway, club head outside the hands. I'd like the club to maybe not be quite so far outside the hands and also to have the club face slightly more closed. It is actually Tiger Woods' is golf swing that I am kind of using as a template for my own. So those are the kind of positions I'm looking to get myself into. As we take it to the top, right elbow starts to bend. Again, if we pause at the top, my right arm does get quite bent. I get the club quite close into me at the top of the swing. I would prefer to keep a little bit more width in the golf swing, keep the right arm a bit straighter, have my hands a bit further away from me. But overall, not too bad as we play it through. Pause it parallel to the ground. Club shallows nicely. Pause it parallel to the ground. Pretty good there, not too bad. I do early extend with the driver a little bit. Um, just a kind of bad habit I'm always trying to work on. But overall, not too bad as we play it through. If we pause it, impact. Not bad. I'd like a bit more space between me and the golf ball. I'd like, you know, to have be, have a little bit more right side bend, a little bit more forward flexion, the hips. 
Um, but overall, not too bad. It was a good drive, and as I swing through to a re reasonably balanced finish. So let's take a look, and we're gonna put the iron swing that I just showed you guys back on the screen and take a look at this and see what Peter has recommended I do and I work on in my golf swing. Now, let me read you the message he sent me, which says, you know, what I need to work on. I'll read you this word for word. I would initially focus on the setup, making sure your hip joints are in line with your ankles. Currently, the hip joints are sitting back behind too much, which would cause the slight reverse pivot to your left leg in the backswing. For an improved setup, you could then rotate your pelvis better past a stable right leg in the takeaway, feeling more weight and pressure moving to the inside of your right heel. This would al then allow you to feel more inside and behind to then open up opportunities to improve your hands and arm swing as well as clear better with your pelvis in the downswing. That would be my first step towards improvement. Now this is a message that he sent me just a few days ago to work on my swing. I did actually have about a one and a half hour phone call with Peter um, at the beginning of this year. Unfortunately, it was when golf courses were closed about the golf swing in general, what his philosophy behind it is. And honestly, as you guys know, I love talking about looking at different golf swings, analyzing them. I have never spoken to someone with a higher golf swing IQ. In other words, he knew exactly what he was talking about. And honestly, I understand a lot about the golf swing, but I felt lost when he was talking about it. I, he talked about it in ways that I had never really thought about it before. And I am going to be doing more content with him to share with you guys to help educate you on really elite tour players golf swings because they do really fundamental things that you would have probably never thought about like this, like like what he's just given me to work on, which you would have never thought about. It's nothing to do with the club. You know, it's not even to do with something like early extension or too much anything to do with that. It's not even something that's that complicated. It's actually pretty simple to just get my hips slightly further forward and be a little bit more upright. So let's take a look and see with that iron swing what he was talking about. Obviously he was telling me to that my hips are sat back a little bit too far and I need to get them a little bit further forward. So let's take a look at that iron swing again. If we pause it, right a setup, we can kind of see what he's talking about immediately. Even though to my eye, when I was filming this swing and looking at it, I did not pick up on that at all. My hips are definitely back behind my ankles. And honestly, when you look at pretty much every tour player, as I did after I, he gave me that advice, all of them are perfectly pretty much stacked over their ankles and that is why they rotate and use their pelvis correctly whereas i am not so that's the first thing that he's giving me to given me to work on i am going to be working on it quite hard it's not the easiest thing to get your pelvis moving in the golf swing in the right direction if it was a lot of us would be a lot better golfers because the pelvis the hips and the shoulders are pretty much the kind of engine and car and you know they help drive the golf swing they're not you know it's not really supposed to be driven with your hands and arms it is supposed to be using your hips legs shoulders and pelvis so i'm super excited to work on this i have to say it's definitely going to make an improvement i already tried doing it today and it's easier said than done for sure it's going to take some time to get used to it but i hope this video did help educate you slightly on that I will be doing much more videos on this as well. I highly recommend checking out Peter Murphy's Instagram. I will put a uh, his his uh, tag thing right here so you guys can look him up and check him out. Uh, he is a very good coach. I'm super excited to be working with him. And let me know what you guys thought of my golf swing as well. I'd love to know, guys. Comment your thoughts down below. Was there anything else you saw that you think I should be working on? is there anything you've worked on that you think would help me comment down below give this video a like subscribe to the channel guys thank you very much for watching i really do appreciate it i'll see you in the next one as always guys grip it and rip it